Hello everyone! This is my new Let's Play. It's, an, it's a Let's Play of Afraid of Monsters. A Gold Source mod. Gold Source being the Half-Life 1 engine. I have played a bit before. I wanted, I wanted to make this LP blind. And it is going to be blind, but... Um, I've played a bit already and I just got stuck and too often and took too long. So I'm going to play the first bit again. I'm still stuck at a certain point, so I'll probably get stuck there again when I come to it. The first bit won't be blind, but the rest will be. I'm going to another reason I want to start a new game is because it's pretty hard, even on medium. The only difference between easy, medium, and hard is the um, is the the amount of damage the enemies do to you, and the amount of damage they do on medium is a bit bit excessive considering the way they've been enhanced in a way from the traditional zombies of Half-Life. There are zombies. I don't think anyone's surprising there. Another thing I'm changing now is I'm playing this in the middle of the day. I was playing it during the night before, but it was just kind of like, while I could still talk and stuff, I couldn't really talk too loud, and it was just kind of, I watched, I watched it back and it just seemed kind of boring. Not that it will be too much better uh, than this, 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 this take, but um, yeah, we'll start on easy. Trust me though, it won't change much really. Just gotta keep an eye on the clock. Probably make this. I wanted them to be like, you know, 15 minutes or so, but probably make this first one a bit longer just so there's uh, something to get viewers excited in. I'm gonna shut up in this opening cinematic. Not much happens, but I'll shut up anyway. So, the backstory to this mod it kind of comes back in the actual game, but I'll explain a bit now. We play as a drug addicted patient, one who has a habit of interrupting me, which is why I'm not actually uh, moving forward. He likes to interrupt me when I'm talking. A drug addicted patient who's come to this hospital to try and kick his habit, or something like that. Um, he kind of goes through bad trips, as in bad psychological trips, and zombies come and try over his face. But another thing I should note is that. It's a pretty old mod. Forget the actual date, but it's it's old. And the gold source engine is even older. It hasn't aged well in certain ways, but in other ways it's still pretty adequate. The source engine is definitely a, a huge improvement, but gold source still has its charms. Certain things you can do that, that work really well in it. I really need to take these pills. Take them then. Can't stop taking them. Take them then. Damn it! Take the pills, you idiot. Not really, though. Don't take the pills. It's bad to take 
weird pills that fuck with your brain. It's not a good idea. So we're in control, we can... Uh, can't actually take the pills. There's a mirror here, a mirror that doesn't reflect. It's quite the useful mirror. Uh, we can get control stolen from us again, and we go into this toilet. I think our protagonist is incontinent. So we go into the toilet and it transports us to... No, it doesn't transport us to anywhere. We walk into the toilet and then it does. Where am I? Now this is... that's me saving. This is something the Gold Source engine does really well. Um, there's another mod I play called um, Half Quake. Probably my favourite Gold Source mod. Um, didn't really feel like LPing it yet. I decided I'd let this be my first one. I wanted to play another horror mod as well, but... Um, I didn't really want to play Half Quake because it's very, very weird and... There's no real story, Just it's just a big collection of weird stuff happening. This one seems to have a lot more of a story. Um, but yeah, it's very... Gold Source is very good at making these weird monochrome levels. Halfquake's full of them. Where you lose all sense of direction and, and distance and everything. We can go in here. Freed. We can drop down here. Into water. So we want to swim up. Afraid, sorry you can't see anything, but... We want to swim up. And now there are a load of red... Well, there are a load of coloured balls. Don't get too scared about this, I was actually scared. This worried me a bit about the game, it's like, oh, there's not going to be too much of these type of thing, is there? But I think it's just kind of some mental representation of this dude going apeshit. So we're going to jump over this gap. Thanks for lighting it up for me, not letting me just fall into it. Yeah, when I started this, I didn't have a clue that I was meant to follow the red balls, I just died about five times. But now I am aware. The red balls seem to be making a path. Well, they are making a path, the path that I'm following. <gasps> we're in a hospital now! corridor, and with some scary sounds. So we can continue to follow the path. I guess we want to follow, we don't want to follow the green one, because it's a, it's a red herring. Or a green herring, I suppose you could call it. I'm sorry, I could not keep that bad joke in. Whoa, another, another gap. The gap that I fold into. I am, uh, I'm excellent. I hope I don't have to redo too much. Let's just do it quickly. Oh, is that the gap I just died in, or is... That might have been the first gap I cleared. Not really entirely sure, actually, I don't really know where I am. Um, oh no, here's the corridor coming up, so yeah, it's not the first gap. I will uh, save the game. I'm going to be making lots of quick saves. It might seem cheap, but it's something you really need when you're playing... Uh, when you're playing um, source mod games, because, you know... The enemies, they are a bit broken, in a way. Ah, bloody hell, what is wrong with me? They, they're very strong, they don't, the AI is kind of a bit cheap because it kind of has to be because of the the time the game was made. Because um, Half-Life, the original Half-Life, it's, it's an excellent game but it's definitely flawed. I'll save now. Definitely flawed but still the story's great, the, the, the mapping is excellent. Oh, we reached a, we reached a, a real life place, and but everything is askew. Um, everything is weird. So we follow the red balls, and now we can follow more red tiles. Let's actually go back and have a look around there. There's a shower. There's a yellow ball here and a blue ball. That's insane. We can't actually walk out these doors. Well, let's follow the red ball path again. A red ball? How unexpected. But we can continue onwards. Path seems to be wibbly wobbly at the oh. That that still scared me. <laughs> I mean the difference is that I've done this before and well I've done it multiple times because I did die on this part a few times, I think. And I'm not even playing it in the dark anymore, but that still scared the shit out of me. Big um Bogeyman popping out of nowhere. So I'm planning to fill a lot more on this game other than me f walking through um, paths full of red balls. Damn, I must have passed out. He ended up in a different cubicle somehow. Uh, and 
mirror smashed, and there's an eye <laughs> written on wood. So we get out. The nice thing this game does is very convenient. You don't even have to open doors. Right to that. So here's we want to escape from the hospital. We have to explore around the place, see which of these doors we can open. Actually, I forget which ones. Um, I know what I'm looking out for, though. It's a sh it is a shame that this isn't blind, but um, you know it's unavoidable, unfortunately. So what I'm looking for is a knife. This is our this is our crowbar. If you played Half Life, you know what I'm on about. You got pretty much a crowbar, but now it's a uh, now it's a knife. In um, I forget what it was in Nightmare House too. Actually, was it a uh, a hammer or something? I think it was a hammer. Door is locked. Oh, right, I've got to... I've got to remember that. That's where I got stuck before and I couldn't remember the doors. But anyway, I'll be back to that. We can also find keys to the reception doors. We can also find ammo. Ammo for a gun that we do not yet have. Um, I'll look around to see if I've missed anything else. The, the drops in this game are kind of important. You know horror games do that. They ration out the drops and make it so that you have to... Well, ration. But, um... This door is locked. This door is also locked. Well, there's no lock to it, so it's not even locked. It just doesn't open. So we have the doors to the reception. It's not that... It's actually this door, yeah. Open it. So, now that we have the keys, we can open this door. This place is a dead end. Another thing I should note is how fast the player's running. It's kind of... It runs very, very fast. Um, I sort of look for drops for items. It runs very fast. Thankfully, though, you can hold shift to walk. Something I did not <laughs> realize. I was doing a certain area that would have been a lot useful if I'd realized I'd, um, I was able to walk. But I know now. I can fix it. Uh, redo it and, and do it a lot better. Not die ten times this time. So we continue up the stairs. We can't open any doors, though, so... It's not too useful for us. I imagine there's wood on the other side. So we go through here though. Have I been here already? I have. The doors are jammed. So I think it's the... Been that way. I think it's downstairs I want to go on, maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, I think so. That's not only... Not working. This door open? Nope. Is it this door? Is it this door? Yes, it's that door, but I will... Check this one first. Oh, no, it's jammed. I'll go in this one then. Does it open from this side? Yeah, it does. It's jammed because there's wooden planks on it. Um, not so useful in a hospital, but anyway. A window smashed. That scared me the first time. Unfortunately, it didn't this time. But maybe it scared you. I don't know. But uh, yeah, we have a flashlight now. You notice that there's a little battery icon in the in the top. The there are limited battery supplies in this game. I thought I would have picked up some batteries by now, but I guess not. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to go back and check for the batteries, because they are very useful. So, I'll do that. Okay, couldn't find any batteries, unfortunately. Um, like I said, they are very useful. That's the top. What's this? A smashed window? Yeah, it's a smashed window. You can't really see, but trust me, it's a smashed window. So I need to crouch jump out of it. This is where the torchlight is useful. I did not have the torchlight when I originally played. Flashlight even. Why am I calling it a torchlight? That's that's a game. So I need to ration it, so I'm going to be like flashing it on and off a lot. Which might irritate people, but hopefully it won't. Um. <sighs> yeah, I might die a bit in this part. Where am I? Saved over here. Yeah, let me get back to where I was. Okay, I'm back now. Back here where the um, the ramp is. I got the. I mean, you should recognise where I am. I got the torch. I mean, the batteries already. So I'm going to kind of carefully do this. Fortunately, I'm aware of things like this. This plank will collapse. It's, it's a shame that I knew that because I wasn't shocked by it or anything. I fell off because I wasn't. Uh, not being careful. I've got to kind of use that plank there as a backboard now. As in, a la basketball. Um, but I can't go through there. Okay, I can use this ladder now to climb up to the roof. Now, 
go to the top now and go over here and notice that there's a map. Um, it's a map of the roof. You can see it's the same shape. There's X's where there's items. So there are two X's there, an X there, and another X there in the middle. There's also an arrow there, but I'll get to that last. I'll find the items first. So there's one over here. One over here. One over here. One over here. Where is it? Oh, here it is. It's health. Health we do not need, actually. So I'll save that if I if I need it. If I yeah, if I come back here and I need it. So I don't need that. There's one in the middle, which is ammo. It's always useful. You've got to be right over it to pick it up, and you don't automatically pick it up either. I suppose it kind of goes along with the having to find it. And there's one on the roof of that little building, and there's one beside it to the left. So let's get the one on the roof first. Right there. And one to the side. More ammo. Uh, some batteries would have been useful, but unfortunately we don't get them. They're kind of low. I remember having a lot more when I first did this. Um, so we got to hop over the roof at that point there. It's, uh, well, actually, I don't think it really matters where we hop off. But it's kind of just like right here. So we can hop off, and now we can access a window that we couldn't access before. Smash it with our knife, because, uh, it's what knives are for, apparently. And go through. Now we can get to the other side of this reception, um, building. I forget what floor we're on. It's probably obvious of if I'd been paying attention, but... Yeah, I forgot. It's a battery. Very, very, very useful. We can travel through here. We can't go through there because it's electrified. Protagonist interrupts me and says I should not touch that. It's a good idea, the protagonist. Can we pick this up? I can read it though. Dear Janitor, I have a problem with some lights. Could you please turn off the electricity for mm, a short while so I can fix it? Uh, okay. so continue on. Check what doors we can open. I don't think we've been on this floor at all, it seems. Maybe we have. Let's check the bathroom to find out. It's locked, so I guess we haven't. Um, so we need to look for... Let's go back into the reception area. I got lost for quite a while here because I wasn't... kind of didn't have a grasp of how this game works, but yeah, you can see there's keys there. So we need keys. We've got keys to the reception H doors. Um, it's still... I mean, it's the same. It's the uh, the exit doors there, not the this door, which you might see. I think it is. Yeah, we can open this now. We can smash these wooden planks to get in here, which I shall do. And it lets us go downstairs, but first we shall uh, have a look in here. We get a gun! A gun? Yes, we get a weapon. Um, we can also explore some more. Let's check this room here. Now, I know where that goes, so I'm going to have a look around some more. We can't open this door. Let's have a look back where the... Uh, lock is missing. I don't know how a door can be missing a lock. Yeah, we've been here before. So back upstairs. I don't think I ever went up. Oh no, I went upstairs, but this door was locked. So we can go through now to that... Uh, looks like a staff room. Yeah. We can go down into personnel only area. And... This door's jammed. That is so and so. And... There's a track power switch here. Uh, how long have I been playing for? I'll play for a bit more. I'll, I'll turn off... Well, you can see what it's going to do. It turns the lights off. And now we're in the dark. We need the flashlight for this. So I'll go out for a bit and show you what is going to meet us. Zombies! And I think that's probably good enough. No more zombies! A good enough time to end this. Just so you have an idea of... Zombies around! And they're in the dark and they're, they're weird. You saw where they were wriggling around there. They're weird, scary zombies. But anyway, that was uh, Afraid of Monsters. Director's cut, but I don't need to keep saying that. That was part one. Hopefully it looks promising enough. Not much happened, really. It's a shame not much happens in like the first 20 minutes, but looks like a good game. This is just about... Yeah, this is just where I played to, and that took two parts, so... At least I managed to do it quicker. But um, yeah, I hope you're enjoying it. I'll have more parts of this LP up soon. Uh, look forward to that. See you guys later. Bye.